In this video, I'm sharing with you my cookware collection, which is my pots and my pans, some that I use for my videos and others that you do not see. So if you're interested, keep watching. So we'll start with the pans. What you're looking at is a Rosetti pan. It is an Italian product and it is a crepe pan, pancake pan. I don't use it as much because I do not like the way it makes my pancake look and it always burns on one side which i don't understand and it's gotten a bit scratched so i don't use it as often but it's a beautiful pan to look at this is one of my favorite pans it's also from rosetti it's a granite pan and it is called elementi futura it allows you clean easily and the beautiful thing is that you don't need a lot of oil when you're cooking with this I use this for egg which is why I'm saying you don't need a lot of oil for it and also cleaning is so easy it is non-stick and it is a ceramic cookware I love it so much and I will recommend it so if you see it anyway just buy I bought both of these pans from Spa in Lekki. They have a lot of Rosetti pans, so I just naturally gravitated towards them. I've gotten a lot of questions about this pan. This is my wok. I bought it for 3,000 naira, very cheap. It is made of aluminium. It heats up really fast, which is why it is great for stir fries. You do not want to use this to make stew because tomatoes, and the reaction with the pan will not be great so just use it for stir fries and maybe for frying things like dodo and all that it probably will not last long i've only used it for about maybe five six months and i bought it from ikmarine market the frustrating thing is that it's a nameless brand so i can't even find it to buy again it's just a random product that i saw and i picked up Next is this Pyrex grill pan. It is heavy, but one thing I do not like about it is that I do not get the grill max that I desire. So I feel I have to get another grill pan. But anyway, it's a beautiful pan. The handle does not heat up, so you can just transfer it from the stove to the oven. And the bottom is like stainless steel. The handle is a silicone soft grip. And this is about 28 centimeters non-stick pan. It is dishwasher safe and you can use it on all types of hubs, even induction cooking. But it's not my favorite because it does not give me my grill marks. The next pan is a pancake pan. So this is the one that I actually like. I bought it from either Game or ShopRite. As you can see, one side of it is bent already and that is how I bought it because it was the last one there and I really needed it. So I like the texture of this pan and it does not let my food stick to the pan, which is why I like it. And at the back of it, it has a pancake recipe. So this is basically a pancake pan. When I bought this, I wasn't looking out for brands. So going forward, when I'm getting pots, I'm going to take note of the brands and share them with you. If after this video, someone gives me the name of this pan, I will put it in the description box. So check back for updates. This next pan is probably the oldest pan in my kitchen. So this is a large cast iron pan and I bought it when I went for a trip in Wari a long time ago. This pan can last from generation to generation, like I can give it to my daughter's child as a gift. It is very heavy, it lasts a long time and it is a very reputable brand, which is large. This is the product that introduced me to like cast iron products and since then i feel like i use more of cast iron this is one of my favorite pots it's a pyrex pot and it is made in france it's from the diamond and induction range pyrex is a very popular brand i like that it has this glass cover and i like the pot itself but i'm always so careful because anything and this glass cover could chip or break so i always treat it with so much care the only problem is that this pot is too small for me it is just 20 centimeters and i've been looking for a bigger one i have not seen i just bought it in a supermarket a while ago and i've been trying to look for a bigger one and i haven't seen it has this aluminium base to distribute heat evenly and then it has a three-layer diamond effect coating which is 
ultra resistant to abrasion and as well as a thick bottom like i said to ensure even cooking this pot is the baby of the kitchen it's also a pyrex pot as you can see it has that glass cover and then the pot itself is glass when people come to my house they're like is this a pot yes it is a pot but the thing is it's also very tiny um, it has a glass lid, it is stain free, it does not retain odors, you can use it as a serving dish or you can cook with it on the cooker. I would like to get it in a bigger size and I've been looking for like a real big size, I can't find yet. It is suitable for all types of hobs, stove top, induction and it was made in France. Also bought this pot from Ikwari Market from just a store so it, the way Ikwari Market is set up is just a cluster of stores and if you go in they might have something interesting they might not and they don't even know what they have in their shop most of the time so I just picked it up and I've been looking for a bigger size ever since I bought these pots earlier this year you can find them in ShopRite I've seen ShopRite stocking them and they're meant to be like milk pans I used this one to boil egg and since then the color did not come back <laughs> so I don't know if it's a good thing if I have to throw it away the brand is called classic and it's classic kitchenware made in Pakistan It's meant to be aluminium non-stick it's a milk pan I have one in 15 centimeters and the second one in 20 centimeters it's supposed to be like the finest aluminium heat resistant with this nice wooden handle but mm, it's not the best of aluminium shah and it was very very cheap so it's not the kind of pot that would last a long time but it can be useful when you want to like do one or two things and it's supposed to be a milk pan so i guess if i used it for just milk it will last very long but you know in nigeria we know they really they use milk we use the pot for anything <laughs> This is one of the most useful pots in my kitchen. It's a stainless steel pot. I could probably get a much better stainless steel quality pot. This one, I got it from ShopRite. I've been using it for maybe two years now. It does not have a brand name. So ShopRite stocks some pots that don't have name. They just call it stainless steel, 30 centimeters, finish. <laughs> there's no brand name you cannot search for it you cannot find it anywhere so I got it from ShopRite and they still have so it. this pot in my house is a jollof pot I use it mostly for jollof rice so as you can see it burns and when it burns it gives my jollof rice that smoky you know that firewood smoky smell <laughs> and that's why I like using it for jollof rice but it's only 30 centimeters it's not as big as I would like it and the pot comes with a cover I've already bought three of these pots and in like the first three months the cover spoils and I just get rid of the cover and just keep using it like that. This pot is also a favorite. The cover has broken a bit because it fell down. When it fell, my heart, I clutched my chest. <laughs> so the top part broke off, but the glass was still intact, which I liked. This is a favorite pot and I got it from ShopRite. It is one of their brandless collections. All it says is that it's a cast iron enamel pot. It does not have a brand, you cannot search for it online and ShopRite stocks it and this is the biggest size they stock, it is 20 centimeters, so you know it is very very small. But I use it for some recipes and I like the pop of color, I think this is like one of my few colored pots and because of this pot I realized I wanted to get proper proper cast iron enamel pot. So this is the pot that inspired that. If you're in Nigeria, you probably know ShopRite, so you can go to their stores and you probably see it. They have it in the blue color as well. I use it for things like boiling egg. I use it for frying chicken because of the way it just conducts heat. So this is a very, it's a very good pot and it will last long. It's just that it's very small and there's no brand name. This is my favorite pot in the whole wide world world <laughs> and this is probably the reason a lot of you are watching this video because you want to know where this pot is from and i would be sorry but i would have to break your heart because i don't even know where this pot is from i bought this pot from a store in the corner market i know the exact store i went back to the store to ask them for this pot they didn't have it anymore 
the paper that came with this pot did not have any information apart from the fact that it said it was a terracotta enamel pot and i just bought the pot because it was pretty i bought it for about forty-five thousand. the only hint i have is this logo it says p and b i've been trying to research where this pot is from online i don't know if it is something called pottery barn i will try to go to their website but nigeria is blocked on the website i tried my best to look for this pot because a lot of you guys have been asking me about this pot and i really wanted to give you the information for the pot but i don't know where it is from so if you're familiar with the brand logo please just look at it it just says pb and it is a terracotta pot so this is an enamel terracotta pot it's enamel because of the inside is shiny um i use it for soups most of the time and i like that the color is white it is beautiful so i'm even trying to find this pot because i need more of it i need a bigger size i need a smaller size i need all the versions available for this pot so i use it for soups and i think it's probably 28 centimeters I've been seeing a lot of questions you guys ask me about this pot and the reason why the answer could not come was because I didn't know <laughs> where the pot was from and I was like the video will be pointless because you want information about this pot and I cannot give it to you but I decided to just do a pot collection anyways and somebody might be able to help me out because I have audience from all over the world and you might be able to recognize the logo and help me out the name of the store i bought it from is called Dooling. yes that's the name of the store opposite ikbori market so if you go to ikbori market around surulere just ask for Dooling, and people will um, show you where the store is and you can ask them for this pot now this pot i think i bought sometime early this year is a tramotina pot and it's a three-piece non-stick everyday pan with glass lid i use it for steaming moi moi <laughs> this is my moi moi pot and then i use it for making sauces as well because it's a ceramic clad pot the interior is ceramic and the outer part is aluminium so i like it because it's a very very white pot and i like it because the color is cream <laughs> so i wanted bright colored pots inside instead of like black or stainless steel i bought this from one store in i think ogba is it ogba there's one supermarket, Adidas or Addis supermarket around close to Ogba side, Sha. So that's where I bought this pot from. Tramontina is a very popular cookware brand. So if you search online, you will definitely find this pot and it comes in different colors. Next is this clay pot. This is a native pot and this is from delta state i told my friend's mom to help me buy it growing up when we used to eat banga soup and other native soups this is what they serve it with so this is like a local serve wear and it is so affordable like maybe 700 naira 800 naira and it just gives this great vibe to the soup i use it for only banga soup <laughs> that's the only thing i use it for i don't know any website where you can buy it from but you can tell someone to help you buy it from delta state that's from worry it is called ewere this is the biggest pot i have it's a big stainless steel pot and it's from master cook um and they call it the master cook stainless steel oven proof casserole stock pot <laughs> It is 30 centimeters and I like that it is deep. So I've started using this also for jollof rice. Before I just used it to use it for like soups, but now I use it for jollof rice. I like the handle um, and it is oven safe, it is dishwasher safe and it is suitable to use on all hubs. When I was buying this pot, this was the first time I ever googled a pot to see the reviews about it and the reviews were great. So that was why I bought it and I bought it from Ikmari Market. This is the most frustrating pot in my collection, but it is a very beautiful pot. I bought it because the insides were white, but as you can see, it has stained so much and I cannot get the stain off. It is a Stella Easy Lift Cast Iron Casserole. So because of that small pot, I started looking for cast iron pans that would be great. And I bought this, I think, from Dooling as well. So the store I was telling you about that sells like cookware in Ikori Market. I bought it from them. The shape is like a V shape. 
so it can be frustrating because when you're trying to reach the food on the inside is really narrow and then it just becomes wide at the top so it can be frustrating for the food it's a ceramic enamel cast iron with glass lid 22 centimeters black exterior and off-white interior it is very heavy and food sticks to it like food will burn all the time i don't know what food i'm supposed to cook in this thing anytime i cook with it the food burns so this pot is just pretty but it's not functional for me it was also not cheap to buy so it was probably like i think maybe 40 ,000 to 50 thousand naira to buy it if you know how I can clean the insides, please let me know because I've used different things and it just does not clean. I've showed you my favorite pot. I think this is one of my favorite pans and one of the oldest in my kitchen. I also bought it from Ikmori Market but from another store called Lee's. So these are the two popular stores in Ikmori Market. They are not inside the market, they are opposite the market. <laughs> Just in case you want to go to Ikmori Market. I always talk about Ikmori Market and I miss it so much. But it's just this place where they sell stuff that was maybe imported from different countries you find stuff from Max and Spencer's um, where you find stuff from a lot of stores that you see in the UK IKEA you find a lot of products there so the things can be very expensive but if you have eye for good quality you'll be able to pick something good so this store is called Lee's interiors I believe and I bought the pan from there. It's called the Ilia Hotel Professional Stainless Steel Pan and it is such great quality. It is very heavy and I like that it has a cover. A lot of hotels use this pan and it was about 30,000 Naira when I bought it. I love that the handle does not heat up so it is heat resistant. A lot of chefs recommend this and I would also recommend it. I had an accident with this pan a few months ago, Sha. I was bleaching palm oil and I covered the pot and the thing exploded, like everything just exploded and caught fire. So that's where the damage of the cover came from. The pan was black, but as you can see, the pan is back as new. It's just the cover did not recover, <laughs> but the pan itself, we were able to wash it clean. And after washing it clean, you can see the pan looks like brand new. I'm telling you, this thing was so burnt, we were told to throw it away. But see, it looks brand new. And I like this pan so much, I actually bought two of it. So I have one in my store that I have not touched in case something happens to this pan and then I can go back to that one. Of all the pots and pans, this is the grandmother of my kitchen. <laughs> you probably recognize this pot from my old videos. I really liked it, but the body is beginning to peel and it's losing its color. And I really like the color because it's yellow and I feel like it's my brand color. I just leave the pot. It's a stainless steel pot and I just use it for like maybe boiling meat or just boiling random stuff and i don't film with it anymore because it has lost its color um, but this is one of my oldest favorite pots like many people i have made a lot of mistakes when it comes to buying pots and pans i do not do my research and i just pick whatever is available of course this costs you time it costs you money i've spent money on pots and things i should not spend on and sometimes while trying to cut costs that have been pound foolish and penny wise, <laughs> like I spent 10,000 naira on a pot and I expect it to last and then after three months the pot disappoints me, then I go and buy it again. I'm beginning to think that is not the right way to do things. So I've been doing a lot of research and I've been saving a lot of my money to change my cookware because cookware is very important to me. Also for health reasons, you have to use the right cookware. And I'll be doing a video soon of my new pot collections, so look out for it. If you have any pot brand, pan brand that you would like to recommend, do so in the comment section. If you also know where we can purchase it, do it in the comment section. And I'll come to the comment section so that we can have a long conversation about pots. Thank you for watching today's video. Please click the like button. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!